Okay, this section is talking about parametric equations. So in the notes, I described that parametric basically is you're taking a point, you're moving it along the plane, along a regular uh, graphing system, and it's moving along uh, in terms of time t. So basically, every time you have a certain time, each time it, that moves up, you actually get a different position. So this would be considered a set of parametric equations. The parameter, that's t. So basically, you have an x and a y that's based on a time. So each time you, you have that goes up here, every time that, uh, you have something changing, that's gonna give you a new position. So basically, uh, as time goes on, the point's moving across the plane. That's the whole idea with parametric equations. So what this one wants us to do is fill in the table. So the t values are provided, in, and in my class, if you're doing it on the test or uh, online with the homework, the t values should be given to you also. You're gonna put the values for t in each of these. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get a, a value for x and a value for y. That's gonna give you your x, y coordinates. We're gonna plot those, and then later we're gonna eliminate the parameter. Eliminating the parameter means that you're basically rewriting this equation without the t in it. So uh, let's go ahead and start one of these. Now when you put this in, if t is negative two, that means that in this column, you're gonna put a negative two in there for t. So you're gonna do three times negative two, and you get negative six. Which means that negative six would be the x value here with your point. Now you're gonna put negative two into this one, and we get negative two squared, and that gives you four. So now that coordinate's gonna be negative six comma four. So as you can see, at time t equals negative two, we got a corresponding x and a y coordinate, and that's what we end up getting here. Let's do the same thing with negative one. We put a three in uh, for t, a negative one in for t, and you get negative three here. We put negative one in for t here, and we get one, when you square the one, you get positive one there. So now we have negative three and positive one, that's our next coordinate put in a zero. Three times zero is zero. Zero squared is also zero, so it goes through the origin. Then we have one. Three times one is three. And here you have one squared and you get one, so positive three comma one. That's your next coordinates there. Then we have three times two is six. And we have two squared is four. So we get six comma four as the other coordinate there. So now we have a list of points that are right here. And so now what we wanna do is we're going to uh, graph these points. And when you do parametrics, you wanna track which direction the point is moving from. So we're gonna see which point that we start by plotting first, and we're gonna see which direction the point's moving. Because when you do parametric graphs, you have to also indicate with little arrows which direction it's actually moving. So we wanna take keep in mind of that when we're graphing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep our points right here. I'm gonna clear out some space, so hopefully you've got uh, all this written down. Otherwise, uh, you can just pause the video and you can get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And we're just gonna go ahead and plot these points right here. So when we plot that one, we're gonna keep in mind again where we're starting from and where the point's moving to. Negative six, negative six and positive four would be right here. That's the very first point, starts there. Then it moves to negative three, one. Negative three and positive one is here. Next we have zero, zero. That's this one. So we can see that as the point's basically moving this direction. Now it's of course assuming that you have your t in order from smallest to largest. So you gotta have your t in order from smallest to largest. And then if that's the case, then you can, you can just watch where your point's actually moving. And we see it's actually moving from left to right. Here's the next point, three, one. And then we have six, four, which should be here. So the, this is gonna be your graph. It looks like a parabola. And ends right here. You need to put little arrows on your graph whenever you're doing parametrics. So you have to indicate which direction the point's moving from. So it's moving from 
left to right, and we have our arrows uh, there to indicate that. So this would be our completed graph. Now, there's not going to be any more graph going this way. And there's not another part of the graph going that way. So I don't want to continue the graph in both directions. The graph actually starts here and ends here. It's, we got closed circles on each end. So we're only looking for, for at this portion of the graph. The reason why is because when we had this whole table up here, the t values only went from negative 2 to 2. So because we don't have any other t values there, that's why the graph does not exist at that point. We're only graphing between negative 2 and 2. So that's why you have closed circles on each end. So this is what the graph would look like. So now we want to eliminate the parameter. Here are the two equations we had previously. We have x is equal to 3t and we have y is equal to uh, t squared. Okay, now what we want to do is usually you're trying to solve for y but you might have to also solve for x. Depends on the, the type of problem but in this case what we want to do is Take one of the equations, you're going to solve for t, substitute it into the other one, and that will allow us to eliminate the parameter. The easiest, way, the easiest one to solve for will be the first one here, because if you try and solve this for t, you'll get square root plus or minus, that's going to be more complicated. It's going to be easier to solve this one. So if I take this one right here, and I solve for t, I'm going to get x divided by 3 if I divide both sides by 3. Then I'm going to take this one and put it into here. So then if we do that, we get rid of the t, replace it with x over 3, and that's going to be squared. You can either leave your answer like that, or you can make it x squared over 9. And so right here, that would be your, that's the equation by eliminating the parameter. Limiting the parameter means that our equation has no t in it. You notice that we do have an x squared, that would make sense because we do have a parabola shape here as our actual graph. Now, the, now if I were to graph this, using a regular x and y table, of course I would have that graph going in both directions. So this is different, that's what makes it different with parameters. Parameters you have a defined starting point and ending point, this one you would not, you would just see the entire graph. But basically this would be your equation if it asked to eliminate the parameter.